we are going forward. We will be going from village to village. We will plant more and more churches because this is what our purpose is on this earth. Hello everyone, I'm Ben with Mission Bulgaria. We're so thankful that you take your time to learn a little bit more about the country of Bulgaria and the needs that are here. Um, in this video, we will show you a little bit about the mission work we do, the partners we partner with, the needs that are here, and the ways that you can help contribute. So we hope you enjoy learning more about this wonderful country. In this video, we hope that you learn more about the country of Bulgaria and Mission Bulgaria. You see, it takes about 24 hours of total travel to reach the country of Bulgaria. And one of the main ways we operate is through short-term mission teams. So after these teams have traveled to the country and are showing hope in desperate places, we ask them to voice some of the ways that we're helping minister with our year-round partners. In this video, you will hear just that. You will hear from our team, and you will hear from our partners on how we're helping the Roma people and the Bulgarian people discover the love of Jesus Christ. We believe that the most successful way to share the good news in a foreign context is through partnering with ministers that we honestly believe in. So, we partner with Care for All Ministries, with Dinko Slaterov and his brother Stefko. They've planted over 43 churches. They've helped with over 23 medical operations. They are truly in the trenches sharing the good news of Jesus Christ. So enjoy hearing from our team today and enjoy this video. In my weakness you're strong As each new day dawns I rely on I'm Jameson with Mission Bulgaria, and one of the things we do are worship services in the villages where we will come into these local churches that have been planted, and we will uh, listen to them do their worship in both Gypsy and uh, or Roma and Bulgarian languages. Then we will also share. Um, we'll do songs in English and mix in some Bulgarian, and um, it's a full-blown worship service just like anywhere else. My help comes from The neighborhood of Loznitz in Stara Zagora, uh, and we will be here for uh, several hours uh, interacting with uh, the people from one of the churches. We're having here Bible lessons and uh, English courses. Today we will only do English, and uh, there will be interaction between uh, the locals and the Americans. Um, the Americans supposedly will teach locals on English, and locals will teach Americans Bulgarian. Later on, uh, we will be going to Tvrdica, where we will be having a water baptism and a splash party with uh, close to 60 kids. So it will be a wonderful day and uh, of course we will have a service uh, later in the evening. Mission Bulgaria, one of the things we do here at Children's Festivals, 
And at children's festivals, we uh, have a popcorn machine and we play with the kids and we have a cotton candy machine and we give out bracelets and jewelry and they love it so much. And we talk with the kids and we play with the kids and we laugh with them and it's a wonderful experience. We just arrived in the village of Sadievo, which is uh, just uh, about 40 minutes south of Stara Zagora. Uh, this is a place where we just recently started the church. It's a new church plant uh, and this is my first time being here. Uh, so it's very exciting. What we're doing here is uh, to spread the influence of the church, of the newly started church in this community. We're organizing a children's fest. When we do a children's fest, we, um, we produce popcorn and cotton candy and give them out free to the kids and you will see a lot of kids here. Uh, and uh, this is really cool because those children they have never seen anything like this they have never had anything for free so this will be very impressive for the kids and the families and uh, I hope to see a lot of those parents uh, at church tonight uh, once again the word of the Lord is being spread out and we are so excited blessings and we are at the church site um, of uh, one of our churches uh, this is a very dear to our heart project because we've been building ourselves this church for uh, seven years now along with different people who have been coming here to help us and uh, it's it is also uh, a unique church because 99% of the people that you will see inside tonight are converts they have been Muslims um, this whole area here is Muslim Muslim and uh, they have accepted Jesus as their savior and um, more than 250 people um, are a congregation here um, just last year um, one one man who has been working as a woodcutter right here in this mountain uh, a, a tree fell and hit him on the head and split his skull um, open and uh, we, we took him to the hospital and uh, they declared him dead and then the pastor went praying for him and a couple of hours later um, the doctor called the pastor and said that he's walking and that he's been resurrected from the dead. Actually tonight you are going to meet this person, he's going to be here. So, very excited to be able uh, to do what Christ has commanded us, to go out and to, and, to, and to make disciples. This church is right here on the hill looking over the whole city, just like uh, another church that you have been able to see. This is what we are to do in this world go out and spread the light and the, the good news about Jesus Christ. I'm nothing without you here in my life. There is hope hearing your presence. Hearing your hey, I'm Ben and this is my wife Cassidy and we're in Gita, Bulgaria preparing for our Mission Bulgaria Christmas project. What are we doing? Uh, we are here at a kids festival where we have popcorn and cotton candy and trinkets for the children. Uh, we're spending time with them, playing games, loving on them, uh, and taking their pictures for our Christmas project. Hearing your presence, hearing your presence, where I come alive for I. I'm Peggy with Mission Bulgaria and we are in a village just outside of Sofia and one of the things we do here aside from some really awesome worship is we 
love on and meet and take photographs of children. So we can go home, share them with everybody we know, and we create Christmas shoe boxes where you buy all kind of great things, pack them in a shoe box and we ship them over here. And it makes, makes their year. We are in the village of Gabra. Uh, this is a mining village, and uh, right now we are we are in one of the poorest places in Bulgaria. We have a church here with about 50 uh, members, and they are incredible. Um, they are upstanding, and they are uh, believing God, and they are keeping strong in the worst of the circumstances. We had a great service tonight and a lot of people were touched by the power of God. food in the bags and take it to families and pray for their homes, their families, and their lives. We are in Sandanski and we are going to be going to the village of Sklave um, and we will be really about 30 kilometers from uh, the border of Greece. Right now we're packing food, food that we will be distributing to poor families. Um, this is the, for the first time ever that these people will be visited by an American group and we will be distributing food bags for the poor, for the widows and then we will be having a kids fest there. It will be an exciting day. We are in Novi Isker, a town just north of Sofia. Uh, we have started the church here uh, last year and uh, they are meeting in a, just a little building. You will see in a little bit. Uh, currently we have about uh, 30 people. This is a very, very poor uh, and unfortunate uh, community. Uh, these people have uh, been thrown away from the city and uh, uh, they uh, don't have places of their own. Uh, um, unemployment is very high here, uh, but praise the Lord, uh, the gospel has been preached freely to these people and we are uh, seeing a progress. People uh, in the community are starting to see the Lord uh, and we have seen uh, a, lot of, a lot of conversions. Last year um, we had the first 14 people uh, to get water baptism up in the mountain. What we will do right now before the service is we will um, uh, give away food bags to poor families uh, and what we usually do with that is we're trying to pro show the people the care of the local church and by doing so uh, the influence of the church grows and uh, we are gonna go into the homes of these poor people we will give uh, a food bag uh, to them and we will tell them about Jesus we will pray for the sick uh, and invite them to come for the service so it will be amazing Uh, Starosim 
Agora at the Bridge Church, uh, this is where my brother Stefko is pastoring. Uh, this is uh, a very, very unique church. Uh, it started uh, well three and a half years ago. Uh, and the Bridge, of course, is a place where people are melted together. It doesn't matter where you come from, what backgrounds, what ethnicity. Uh, we would like to provide a place of worship where everybody feels at home. And uh, it is it is wonderful to have people who desire uh, to come together as a family, no matter who they are. The church is the only place where we can break those boundaries. The church is the only place where uh, the boundaries of uh, segregation can be melted. And this is a wonderful place where the grace of God is doing this miracle. And I encourage people around the world, doesn't matter who your neighbor is, love and love intensely because this is changing the world one person at a time. Amen. So now that you've seen the need, so now that you've met the Roma people, now that you've seen missionaries on the ground bringing hope and love and joy, what are you going to do? What are you going to do today that's going to change a life tomorrow? What are we going to do to see the kingdom come on earth? as it is in heaven. There are needs all over the world, not just in Bulgaria, and our prayer is that you find somewhere to go and to be the good news, to show the love of Jesus Christ. We pray that you partner with us. If you want to help, if you want to be a part of the good news and of the change that's happening in the country of Bulgaria, We'd love to partner with you. Help us bring joy. Help us bring this light into a dark situation. We believe that God is having his way, that God is shining his light. So come and be a part of the hope that is being spread. For more information on Mission Bulgaria, you can go to OurMissionBulgaria.com.